Hi friends, hi YouTube. If you're new here, hi, my name is Nikki. I love fun, bright, colorful makeup. I would love to have you subscribe and hit the like button. Uh, but if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. It is what it is. I enjoyed our small, tiny bit of time together. Uh, today is collab day with the ever and amazing, so beautiful, gorgeous, kind, just oh, all the things, Erica Conger right here. Uh, she's become one of my dearest friends through this flat through this platform, words are hard, um, and I'm so excited to be collabing with her here today. We decided to do a collab with our BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop palettes. These bad boys right here, and I'm so excited that we finally got to do this. Uh, I ended up creating this look, so one, make sure that you go check out her channel, her video, I'll have that all linked down below. Um, and if you want to sit here and watch my absolute shit show of a video, myself uh then uh let's get into it <laughs> Welcome to a, another collab. I'm so excited to be doing this. I haven't done one with Erica in a hot minute, so I'm very excited to do this. Uh, if you do not know Erica, I'm talking about Erica Conger, this lovely lady right here. She's become one of my most sincere and most loved best friends through this platform, and I'm so excited to be doing another collab with her. Um, we kind of pondered around on some ideas, but we ended up coming up with a palette bingo doing our BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop palettes. I don't know if she has the uh, neutral one. I know that I don't, which I think is going to make this a lot of fun as I'm a colorful lover and it's just going to be all color. Um, I'll give you a quick rundown of what the palettes look like and then we will start picking our shades. This is the orange sherbet one. This is bubblegum. This is cotton candy. This is cherry on top. And last but not least, this is pistachio. I think this is gonna be a whole hell of a lot of fun. I'm so excited to do this again. Thank you so much, Erica, for willing to do this with me. Um, but let's go pick our shades. So there are eight shades in each of the palettes. So let's do this thing. We're gonna start with the red one. So five. That is that shade right there called Sunday. Next, the orange one. Seven. That is that shade right there called Extra Toppings. Next is the green one. Three. That is that shade right there called Treat blue or that is that shade right there called blueberry and last but not least for pink seven that is that shade right there called light and airy so this is the color story i think we'll be able to make this work i think this will be a lot of fun um as i've done most of my looks in the past couple days with a green or blue in the crease I think we'll maybe go in with these two. But I kind of want to put this in the inner corner. But maybe we'll put the red and the pink here. And then like the green here. Okay, we're figuring it out. <laughs> I'm going to go in the crease with that Sunday shade right here from the Cherry on Top palette. Taking that on this Refer 13 and plopping that into the crease here just so we have something to blend with that red. Okay, so now that we have that there, I did bring it forward a little bit. Um, I do, again, really want to put the pink in here too, um, but I'm going to go in with this extra topping shade from the Orange Sherbert palette. Still on that refer 13. Not taking a lot as it, it's a lot of... It's potent. And we're popping that into the lower part of the crease here. And softly blending it out and down a little here. It 
If you do not know Erica, you are 110% missing out. She is, if not the most amazingest, kindest, sweetest human being on the world, on this planet. She just, she's an all around absolute just sweetheart and amazing, kind human being. Just, she's just so amazing. And I think she's one of the best people that we have in this community. She's willing to talk with anybody, collab with anybody, and she's just an amazing person. She, there's no hate there. There's no assholeness. There's no bitchiness. Like, she's literally just one of the best humans to exist and I am so absolutely and utterly fortunate to have her in my life and to have her in my corner. So if you haven't already gone and checked her out or whatever, you need to. She's just, she's so amazing and I love her and I adore her so incredibly much um i think i'm gonna go in with the light and airy shade right there i'm just gonna keep using this red for 13 it's working why work with some why you know why why change it up um not taking a lot but i'm gonna be popping that out here and sort of deepening this up a little I would like to say my uh, blending into all of them right now, like my bl my blendage, is insane. Like my goodness, look at that. Look at that. I might actually be able to wear this to work. And then have all the kids be like, what did you do to your face? As they always are whenever I wear makeup, they're like, oh, what did you do? You have makeup on. Your eyelids are purple. Like, yeah, my my dudes. It's... <laughs> That's kind of what happens. I'm just going to clean that off a little and just do a little blendage. Otherwise, I'm really, really liking it. Do we say screw it and put the green here and then pop the pink in here and then put the blue under there? Or do we incorporate the blue up here a little into the green? I'm saying screw it, let's just do the green. Okay. 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 We're going to go in, which one was that? Was that that one? Yeah. We're going to go in with treat right here and taking that on a rougher 21. I'll be popping that into this portion of the eye right here. And I am going to go back in with that refer 13 that we used and just sort of blend it all together. I'm just going to go over it just a tad bit more so then I can get the color pigment that I want. You know, the potency. For under eye, we're going to do that blue. I think maybe we'll put like the pink, the purple. Maybe we'll put the purple and the blue down here and then put the pink in the inner corner. You know, I feel like I feel like that's a it's a good path to go down. We're gonna go in with that purple um light and airy shade right there on this refer twenty three. Just a very, very, very tiny brush, tapping off the excess and then bringing that down along right here. And then I'm going to go in with that, um, which one was it? The blueberry shade. We're going to go in with the blueberry shade right here on that same refer 23. I kind of wish I got like one of those three, you know, but I don't feel like being a cheater right now. But we're going to be popping that blueberry shade into the inner corner area right here. And we're going to be blending the light and airy and the blueberry shade together. I kind of want to do more. But for right now, we're just, we'll figure it out once I add the pink in. We're going to go back in with that shade that we used in here. That bright Sunday shade right here. 
on a refer 03. And flop that bad boy into the inner corner here. Okay, just because I want to involve the blue just a tad bit more up here, I'm going to go very, very lightly in with the blueberry shade on my refer 21. And just plop it right here. And I'm going to go in with that refer 13 that I did for all the blending up there and blend those two together. See, it, it needed this. It needed it. Like I said, I'm going to go in with the 13 and just blend. Okay, so I decided to not put foundation on just because... I'm gonna be around the door and it's windy and it's cold and I just feel like it's gonna make my foundation just automatically go to shit. So we're just, I just put a little bit of blush and a little bit of highlight. Um, for blush, I went in with the mouthwatering shade from the Blend Bunny Juicy Cheeks palette. And then for highlight, I went in with the Blend Bunny Not To Lucent with a Far Out and Transient. And I took that, well, I put far out here and I put a mix of far out and transient in the brow area here. Um, any products that I use like on or off screen will be linked in the description below. Do not worry if you're interested. I know I said it at the end, whatever. Um, I feel like this turned out so good. This is so pretty. It reminds me very much of like, I don't know, like a bowling alley carpet type vibe. <clears throat> I know that's not maybe like a good description, but. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I I love this. Also, the lip is the Road Peptide Lip Treatment in Vanilla. But if you made it to this point of the video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed seeing me create this look. And I hope you go and check out or what not uh, Erica's channel. I'm very right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, but a couple things before you go. Remember to not be a piece of shit. Don't be homophobic. Don't be transphobic. Don't be racist. There's so many better things to be doing with your time, your money, your energy. And I understand that you do not like it. And I understand that you do not understand it. But that is something that you need to take a step back and reflect on and do better on. Um, remember to be taking in the most actual, factual information. There's a lot of propaganda, a lot of blood going around. So make sure you're taking in the right stuff and supporting the right brands and all that. Supporting places that aren't homophobic, that aren't transphobic, that aren't racist, that aren't xenophobic, all these things. Just make sure that you're putting your money to good places. And remember to be taking care of you, to be taking enough water, enough food, to not be such a people pleaser, to be doing things for you. You know, like all that good stuff. Again, if you made it to this point of the video, thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I can't wait to see your cute face next time.